Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. So if you didn't watch, oh my gosh, this hair is looking insane today, y'all. We gotta get this done. If you didn't watch my video, testing out glaze for the first time, y'all go check that out. But since then, I'm so excited. They actually watched my video and they reached out and y'all, they sent me a whole like little PR kit. What? So I'm so excited. So excited. So this is our lovely little, oh, this is our lovely, lovely little PR box that they sent me. Y'all, I'm so excited. We got lots of goodies in here. So I figured, you know what? Since they reached out, they were so kind and sent me this box after watching my video, my review. That was just so sweet. That was so nice and so thoughtful. So I thought, you know, why not try it out again with the stuff they sent me? The main reason is because they sent me a darker color, which I think is probably going to work better on my hair because my hair is darker. So again, if you didn't check out the last video, y'all go check it out. But I used a lighter color. Where is that? Yeah, so in my first video, um, I bought these two shades and I ended up trying out this one. Yeah, this one, the Sleek Espresso. What is on my hand? What is this? Where did this come from? Ugh. There's some sort of sealant something coming off my piping under my sink so hold up a minute y'all it's like silicone in the world y'all this stuff is not coming off what is this <sighs> tan's gonna end up getting scrubbed off okay i think we got most of it off along with some of my tan probably also if y'all noticed i don't have any of my nail polish on that i normally wear because i got on this fingernail here I got like ingrown nail on the side and it still hurts really bad it was super bad but I'm trying to let it calm down before I put anything else on my fingernails right now okay enough chit chat like I said last time I tried out this one the sleek espresso this is another one I bought last time I haven't tried it out yet the chocolate gleam but when they reached out they said they thought I probably should go with a darker shade just because my hair is so dark. So this is what they sent me and we're going to try today. We got this dark color here called Luminous Licorice. And I'm so excited to try this. I feel like it's going to be so pretty. They sent us also just the clear one. So like if you want just like a hair treatment without the color, they have this option too. So they sent me this one. Um, And it's just called Sheer Glow Transparent. They also sent me this really cute little hair clip. So that'll come in handy. And then this thing is super neat. It's like one of those scalp brushes that you can really like get in there and scrub real good when you're washing your hair. And then of course they sent me this nifty little towel. I feel like I could use to like keep the dye off of me and stuff when I'm dyeing my hair. And it's like y'all massive like look at this super nice and big whoa it's like as tall as i am <laughs> which that's not saying much but anyways i figure you could put this around you while you're dyeing your hair and then you won't get hair dye all over you so that is really neat i would like to say huge thank you and huge shout out to glaze for sending me this box of goodies that was so sweet and so thoughtful all right I want to use this luminous licorice color because I feel like it's going to be so pretty on. I feel like it's going to be dark enough to actually like be noticeable on my hair. And let's get started. All right. So I'm going to throw this around my neck. I think I'm going to clip it like this. I look like I'm about to go Christmas caroling. And let's take down this crazy mane. Y'all, when y'all see this hair, y'all going to be like... Needs to be washed, which is why I figured today's a good day to do it. So, and I will link, all the products I can link, I will link um, down in the description below. 
y'all can shop through uh, Amazon affiliate links as well as um, I will try to throw down the Lay's link too for y'all. Alright, so again, I know it's greasy, don't judge me. Okay, so this is a partridge in a pear tree. This is the before. And again, I have a black shirt on. Somebody's gonna say it. Why do you got a black shirt on? We can't see your hair. From last time, I did remember that I had a hard time squeezing the bottle once I got started because my hands were messy. I didn't want to get the bottle messy. So this time, a few tips. Get like a disposable cup or something to squeeze the stuff in. That way you can just kind of scoop it out and put it on your hair and you don't have to worry about squeezing a bottle with messy hands. Tip number one. Number two, gloves. I forgot gloves last time, so my hands got messy. I tried to put bags on my hands. Didn't work. Y'all go laugh at me in that video, but we got gloves this time. So, so I'm gonna go ahead, open up our luminous licorice. We're gonna squeeze it into the cup here. Ooh, it's dark. See, it's like, once you get that first good squeeze out, it's hard to get this, this out, so. And I'm probably, for all my hair, the last time I did it, I used almost the whole bottle. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze this whole bottle out because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it all. Um, if you don't have quite as long hair as me, like if your hair comes to there, which is I think like most average hair, you probably would only need half the bottle and you could get two uses out of this stuff. On to the fun part. If you didn't know, <laughs> didn't even go over this, but basically it's like a semi, sem, semi-permanent hair color and like treatment that makes it super shiny and luminous. Basically you put it on, you leave it on for 10 minutes, that's it. And then you rinse it off and it lasts up to 10 washes. So we're gonna put it on and don't forget your gloves. Typically I like to do my roots first and like the part that shows most on my head first, just so I can ensure that gets fully covered. And that way if I start running out of product, um, you know, it doesn't matter as much if it's not completely covered on the areas that you don't see that much of. So I've got all my stuff squeezed in my cup. That dark, pretty color, y'all. Side note, this stuff smells amazing. So I'm just going to scoop it out and use it like this. I like shampoo. So here we go. Starting with my roots here. Oh, that already looks a million times better. Yes, it's going to get on your head. And try your best to avoid it but honestly I've got makeup on and last time I'm pretty sure the makeup kind of blocked most of it from my skin so if only my hair line was like this thick and luscious if only this is so much easier y'all than my first video you really need to go check that out if you didn't watch it because this is going so much better squeezing it into a cup and then just dipping your hands in. Also having this towel is awesome because I don't have to worry about my clothes getting busted. All right, so around the face is pretty much covered. Next, I'm gonna go through and do, make sure each like section of my roots. And then lastly, we'll go down sides. Make sure. Oh my goodness. Side note, put a towel down because I just dropped a glob on my floor and I know it's gonna stain. And just throw a clip in. Oh, that's gonna be a big old stain on my floor. And I don't wanna take the gloves off to clean it yet. So I'm already like touching the bottom of the cup, pretty much running out and I'm finishing up my hair. So if your hair is my length or longer, um, definitely, you definitely need the whole bottle. That is the bottom of the barrel, y'all. We have reached the bottom of the barrel. That's all she said. Throw this up with the other hair. I look like a crazy person. We gonna do the gloves inside out, just like that. All right, and look, I managed to not completely destroy myself. Um, I have a few tiny little marks, but did pretty good this time. And even the towel is remotely clean. So, hey. Okay, let's clean the floor. I'm gonna set my timer, let's see. Set timer for 10 minutes. Oh, timer. So I set my timer for 10 minutes. Also, if y'all want the link to this cute watch band, I will drop that down there too. Okay, now we wait. All right, our time is literally just about up. So what I'm gonna do is 
Last time I rinsed my hair in the shower, but I think this time I'm going to rinse in the tub. So I'm just going to kind of stick my head under the faucet and do it that way. Maybe I won't make as big of a mess as I did in the shower. We're going to go ahead and rinse and come back and see what we think. All right, y'all. So we just rinsed out. Um, it didn't destroy my bathtub nearly as much as it destroyed my shower. So I would definitely recommend if you have like a run-in faucet somewhere, a sink, a tub, I feel like it just splashes less and creates less mess than in your shower. Um, my hands were dyed at first and I was kind of freaking out a little bit because they were like black and purple. But the more I washed and scrubbed my head, I guess it also scrubbed my hands. So not as bad as the first time around. I'm a little splotchy now, but it did prevent the dye from like really dyeing my face. So that's good too. So kind of a tip there. Put some makeup on before you dye your hair so that the makeup creates a barrier. Okay, now the true test. We're gonna see what it looks like. So excited, okay. Also, you do want to make sure because I mean, I ran it till the water was clear, but there's still a little of that purple color, dark color. Definitely don't use like a white towel or your nice good towel when you do this. Um, I would use like a dark towel. We'll go ahead and let's go ahead and brush it out. I remember last time too, like my hair brushed out so smooth after I did this, like not even one knot. Like, look at that. Normally when I brush my hair after I get out of the shower, after I wash it, I have to sit here and like, <laughs> Cause there's usually some major knots. This actually makes your hair so smooth. And by the way, this is my brush that I got for Christmas. It's the Dyson Battle Brush, I think is what it's called, but I'll link it. And I'm also gonna use, if you missed the video of me testing out this bad boy, I'm gonna use this thing today to dry my hair. Um, I have the Lange brush that is similar to this tool that dries your hair, um, which I also love. And y'all can check that video out video out of the first time I ever tried that out, which since then I have gotten so much better and love it so much more. But so y'all check out the video of me trying out this thing to curl my hair. Um, but today we're going to dry our hair. Okay. So hair is all dry. I did go ahead and put a white shirt on just so y'all can just so y'all can see because with the black shirt it's kind of hard to see my hair y'all i can definitely tell it's darker it's super look at this super shiny and healthy looking again this is just blue dry i didn't like go through and straighten it and all that stuff um so i'm sure when i straighten it it'll look even better because i tend to have frizzy hair but even for my hair, like, like, look how silky and shiny and healthy it looks. So this is the end result. Definitely love the color refresh that it gave me. Um, my roots are no longer like looking dull, like the color looks so much richer. And yeah, super healthy and shiny. So again, love, 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 love. This time around, it's my second time trying this out, as y'all know, and it definitely went better than the first time. I think mainly because of like three things. Number one, the color is right um, for me. It's dark enough to actually make a difference and show up on my hair. Number two, two, squeezing the product into a cup and having gloves definitely makes a difference in how fast and easy it goes. Highly recommend doing that. And lastly, of course, the whole shower thing. So rinsing in the tub went way better for me. So very pleasantly pleased, pleasantly pleased. Shout out to Glaze. Thank y'all so much for sending me that box of goodies. I am so thankful. That was so sweet and thoughtful, y'all. I hope this video was helpful. I hope y'all enjoyed watching it. And if you did, y'all, please go give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell so you will be notified when I post a new video and you won't miss anything. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.